Well, this old chestnut tree had an eventful night last night. I didn't know we had enough wind to take this huge branch down. Goodness. But it looks like it was fairly rotten. Yeah. Oh, it was completely rotten. Very rotten. Dead dodo rotten. So, huge branch came down from right there. So I'll have to get a different angle. I can't see it from here. There. There you can see the raw place right there. Well, I'm grateful that it fell this way rather than on the public road. You can hear the public road is just right there. So this is on our fence line. So very much a sad thing occurring. All these trees are reaching their maturity and so they die, shed their limbs. So I'm going to have to start planting more trees. I think I'm going to go for beech trees. We've been planting beech trees when a lot of these horse chestnuts come down. We've been planting beech trees in replacement because they at the moment don't have the diseases. There's a disease that is affecting the horse chestnuts, the ash trees and the cherry trees. And the moment I don't know of any affecting oak trees or beech trees. So when these trees die, these chestnut trees die, we've been transplanting them with uh, beech. I'll show you one of the ones, some of the ones that we've planted. Here you can see two of our larch trees. We have a whole series of larch trees. They shed their needles in the autumn. So they turn a lovely yellow, but they're not quite there yet. They're getting there. Here's another of the huge horse chestnuts. And here, these are the beech trees, the young ones. We planted these, I think about 15 years ago. So you can see one, two, three beech trees, and they're all to replace these horse chestnuts, which have reached the maturity of their life and are now, um, they're now so old, they're dying. So whenever one of these dies, these magnificent ancient trees that were probably planted by my great, 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 great grandfather. And because there's now an environmental disease, which is killing the horse chestnuts. This is why I'm now replacing them with a different species, the beech trees. So you can see these are turning and doing really, really well. Oh, here comes a huge tractor. I can hear its big tires walking on the road. Anyway, these are the beech trees that we're placing, replacing the horse chestnuts with. You can see the ancient horse chestnuts. You can see how big they are. And I've had a somebody who follows all the videos and my online who wants to donate. So I said to plant more trees. So I said I would name a tree after her. And she's very kindly donating about a thousand euros via PayPal. And she's emailed me and then I will email her the sum that she would like to donate from my PayPal account because of the scammers who are trying to steal money from followers and saying they are me. So if you're interested, direct message me and email me via my website. Let me know how much you would like to donate and I will plant a tree and it'll be named, uh, given a name. And hopefully, uh, see one of these trees, it costs money to do the fence and the planting, etc. So we'll see if we can replace a few more of these dead horse chestnuts with some young beech trees.
and another vehicle passes by. So you can see it's all along this road edge that we want to replace these beech trees. You can see this poor beech tree is severely hollowed out. I mean, that's my arm going into the center of it. You can see. So it's rotting really, really badly. And we might well have to take this tree down. I and mean, look, it's really rotting badly because it's right next to the road. So it's rotting in and becoming leaning. Luckily, we had a tree surgeon, so it's leaning into the field. You can see the kind of twist of the trunk. So it'll hopefully fall that way when the time comes. But this will be another one, and then I'll be able to plant. This young beech tree is here, so I'll be able to plant one two more beech trees when this big beautiful tree dies and falls or we have to chop it down for health and safety.